open up the lighting tutorial drawing and select the split 2D 3D view. From the 3D menu, choose Saved 3D Views and Living Room Lighting. That sets our view on a pre-saved view. We should be looking toward the fireplace in both 2D and 3D. From the 3D menu, choose Rendering. From Lighting, choose Adjust Lighting to Nighttime. This will turn on any existing light fixtures that are already in the plan. Of course, as you can see, it turns the sunlight off and makes it nighttime. From the Electrical tab, click the Lighting Fixture tool. On the Properties tab, click the Light Style button and choose the top light, the Recess Light. Position the cursor at the center of the light position and then left-click to place the light fixture. While that light is selected, click the Apply button. You'll see the light illuminating the room and floor underneath it. If I choose Ambient and apply it, you'll see that it casts light throughout the room. We'll turn the ambient off, and now talk about the settings. The dimmer switch does exactly what you'd expect. It changes the brightness of the light fixture. The radius affects the spread of the light cone coming from the light. The falloff affects the crispness or hard edge of the light pattern. So the lower the falloff, the more like a spotlight effect you'll get from the light fixture. Higher falloff has more diffused light around the perimeter and looks more natural. Widen the radius just a bit. The glow affects the little light that's actually at the light fixture. It does not affect the illumination from the light at all. You can change the brightness and the size of that glow to make it look more realistic based on the light fixture. There's another type of light that can be adjusted in the drawing. From 3D rendering, let's go to Lighting and set the lighting to daytime. And this will turn all of the light fixtures off and turn the sunlight back on. Now click Lighting. You'll see both direction and angle displayed. The direction is which direction in the plan the light is coming from. So in this case, we want the direction of the light to come in those south windows. The angle affects how high or how low the sun is in the sky, which will affect how far into the room the light will stream. So we'll do a final render. You'll see the light stream from the windows into the room. Depending on the final presentation of your drawing, you may wish to adjust that. At any time, you can go back into our lighting settings and you can change the direction or the angle of the sun. So we'll change the angle just a little bit, a little higher, which means the light will stream in just a little bit less. And you can also adjust the overall brightness in the room. The later in the day it gets, a little less ambient light in the room from the sun.